Everyone says building a gaming PC is expensive, but what if you don't have to sell a kidney or trade your GPU for rent money? What if, in theory, you could build a gaming PC for the price of a pizza? Not a full-blown RTX monster, but something that turns on, runs games, and doesn't immediately catch fire. Let's see how far we can go with pocket change and misplaced optimism. First, let's set the price. A pizza these days costs about $10 to $15, maybe $20 if you live somewhere that charges extra for air. That's our budget. $20 to build a piece on paper that sounds impossible in practice it's still impossible but let's break it down anyway a new cpu alone costs more than that same for ram storage or literally any modern gpu so forget new parts you're diving into the world of used and forgotten hardware where half the listing are work fine with burn marks and the other half for parts only but somehow still full price your best chance starts with old office pcs those beige boxes that sat under a desk in the 2000s people throw them away school auction them up for nothing or companies replace them in bulk if you're lucky you might find one for free or for about 10 bucks inside you might get an intel core 2 duo or maybe a first gen i5 if the universe likes you these aren't fast but there's something next ram most of these old systems use a ddr3 which you can find laying around or pulled from old machines two sticks of four gigabyte will get you a total of eight gigabyte which is enough for basic gaming you don't need fancy rgb ram here you need modules that don't beep at startup then there's storage forget ssds old hard drives are everywhere Everywhere. People toss them out when they upgrade but still work. You can pick up a 500 gigabyte drive for a few dollars, sometimes free if you ask around. It won't be fast, but it'll hold your games. Now comes the hardest part, graphics. You're not buying an RTX anything, you're looking for ancient cards like the GT 710, HD 7570, or GTX 550 Ti. These sell for 15 to 20 bucks online, but if you're lucky, you'll find someone giving them away, if you're lucky. Some old PCs even come with integrated graphics, like the Intel HD 4000, which can run games like CSGO, Minecraft, and maybe Skyrim if you beg it enough. For power, you stick with the PSU that came with the case. Not recommended mended but we're on a pizza budget so safety is a luxury it might be loud it might smell funny but as long as it turns on it counts so let's total this out old office pcs ten dollars used gpu free or about 10 bucks extra ram sticks five dollars old hard drive zero to five dollars and that's a total of 30 bucks you now have a gaming pc that technically exists it won't play modern titles like cyberpunk or warzone but it will run older games like league of legends csgo dota 2 team forest 2, Half-Life 2, Minecraft, and even Skyrim with lower textures. You'll get about 30 frames from all of them, which is still playable. It won't be pretty, it'll be loud, hot, and probably covered in dust. It'll take you 3 hours to build, but it's still a PC build for less than dinner. The funny thing is, this used to be normal. 10 years ago, people built budget gaming rigs out of scraps and hand-me-downs. Hardware was simple, and games weren't as demanding. Today, everything needs more VRAM, more power, more cooling, and more money. So even though the pizza PC idea sounds like a joke, it's also a reminder of how far hardware prices have gone. Now, if you stretch the budget a little, maybe say $50 or $70, things get more realistic. At that point, you can buy like a used Dell Optiplex with a decent fourth gen i5, integrated graphics, and enough RAM to play eSport titles like, you know, CSGO. Throw in a cheap SSD later and it feels much faster. It won't crush any modern AAA titles, but it's a solid starter build for someone with nothing. The point isn't to build a high-end gaming rig for pizza money, it's to show that gaming doesn't have to cost a fortune there's old hardware everywhere offices upgrade every few years school throw away working pcs and people underestimate what old systems can do if you're willing to dig clean and troubleshoot you will get a playable setup without spending hundreds of dollars dumpster dive at a tech recycling day and tell the camera it's an archaeological dig it's not glamorous it's not rgb but it works you'll play the same games you have the same fun kind of and you'll learn more about pcs along the way with that said thanks for watching until next time